there's so many places in Maryland that you can visit that it's it's awesome like you can never get bored especially if you like the outdoors you won't be bored so we're hitting the road y'all and it's really cloudy today I'm not sure what's going on it is extremely extremely cloudy okay guys I hope you guys are ready for this Where it crosses, you can have 
you have the choice to go either Virginia, to go towards West Virginia, to go towards Massanut Mountains, and then of course, to the right, you go to Pennsylvania. And then of course, the Pennsylvania Mountains and so on. But for right now, we are up here. We are up here. As you guys see, we're going up a hill. It's all uphill from here. And it's called Middletown Road in Parkton. Parkton, Maryland. So the last exit, I believe, was what, 27, 28? And then there's no exit 29 or 30. I think the next exit was 31 from there. I think. I can't remember what numbers were prior to 31. But I think we're getting off at 31. So if you're trying to make it up here, please remember the directions or the directions, whichever word you want to use. So if you go to the right, you're going to Parkton. And even though it's the attractions to the right, they said the Greystone Golf Course is on that side. And of course, we are going towards Middletown Road West. So. Oh, the second. Okay, so the third left off of I-83, which is exit 31, the third left you're going to make up here. Which is Molesworth Road. We make a left at Molesworth Road. Trees, the tree cutters. I'll be trimming the trees. The back here is absolutely beautiful, guys. And just to get away, you can get up here to think, you can get up here to clear your head. You can get up here if you're a person that likes nature and likes to pray. Okay, at the very first stop sign, y'all. You're gonna make it right, right on up here. And this is Armacost Road. I hope I'm saying that right with my Jamaican accent. Armacost. I could have actually, if I would have gotten off at to 27, it would have took me and I would have came up that hill at Hamacost where I just, um, where I just made it right. But just in case you get off at the wrong exit, you can still make your way over here. <laughs> I'm usually exploring by myself. Yet. See somebody walk. 
race cars down here. <laughs> and you can tell that they're down here acting a fool. Them be the ones making all the donuts. So this is a parking lot. You can either park here or you can park over there where the guys are with the race cars. Okay. Okay guys, so the other day I tried to show you guys this, but I was not able to because the connection was horrible. I guess this man is cleaning up. Now here is the mountains. Look at this y'all. This is beautiful. Can you imagine if we're being watched by animals? <laughs> we have no idea. Because they're camouflaged. guys I'm getting you guys ready for the surprise and then I'll tell you the name of the place now if you're looking for a place in Maryland that is free and that you can go and just relax and sit just enjoy the ambiance this is an absolutely beautiful place I know you guys hear the rushing water and trying to figure out what's happening. And get ready, y'all. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one. There you guys go. So this is called Pretty Boy Dam. You come here, you relax, you enjoy the scenery. They did say no fishing, because of course there are fishes in there. But you're not allowed to fish. They don't want you fishing. That's just about it. It's pretty windy out here. So, Just a FYI, I remember I came here in the summer and I got attacked by a yellow and black striped snake. And I was told that the reason why it jumped at me because I was in the way. That makes sense. So it didn't necessarily want it to attack me. It's just that it was going down the steps and I was going up the steps and so of course it jumped at me so right here we're gonna continue on my hands are getting pretty cold And I also got attacked, got chased by a wild turkey over there. This gentleman is enjoying his life. Hello, how are you?
Okay, guys. Here we go. That's 101 steps, by the way. Okay, guys, here we are. At the very bottom. The very bottom of Pretty Boy Dam. At the very, very, very bottom. And back there is where people typically go to fish. They take that thing, they climb up there, and they go back there. But guys, you see how beautiful this is. Of course, I tried to show it the other day, but my connection when I tried to go live was no good. It was no, no, no good. So, I want to show you guys how beautiful, absolutely beautiful this place is. So if you are in the mood when you visit Maryland and you want to go to Pretty Boy Dam, if you have company, you can go back there. If you're by yourself, I would not suggest that. We got attacked by wild turkeys last time. So, here you guys are. Absolutely beautiful, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. That man is still going up the steps, 101 steps. And then, of course, the bridge is up there. Okay, guys. So this is at the bottom, like I said, of the dam. Now we're going to try to make it up to the top. Well, we're not going to try. We're going to make it up to the top, which is 110 steps. So not only are you Absolute beautiful pretty boy dam. <sighs> Absolute beautiful. So in the summertime you'll see guys on their boats fishing over here. They're usually fishing. It is absolutely beautiful. So you'll find people on this side of town just enjoying their good old life. Some people are walking right there. So we're on the bridge. We're actually on the bridge right now. Just enjoying this beautiful scenery place. So there's so many places to visit here in Maryland. And of course I'm going to show you guys See the guys with the race cars over there.
glass broke. People are so destructive. It's a shame. So, here is the beautiful rest bar. You just come up here and you just relax. You just come up right here and you just relax. Usually, you can see the sun setting over there. I'm hoping my camera is not shaking too much because it's extremely windy. As you can see back there, it's like another opening. It goes out. So, this is what it is. If you come up here on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday morning, you'll find a lot of people riding bikes, you'll find a lot of people jogging, you'll find a lot of people doing different things. But I want to go to that end so I can show you guys from this angle where I was at the bottom so you can see. So if you are ever visiting Maryland, if you would be able to see people walk up that trail, so they do have summertime hiking over here. And then of course, this is where I was. Mm -hmm. Right there. See the steps right here? You can see the sunrise and the sunrise from there, so that's the east. It goes down on that side over there, which is the west. So you get to see the sun set there. Okay, guys, look at this. Do you guys see this where the water is going? It's absolutely beautiful. Hello. Alrighty, so. Right there, we went to that rock. And down there where we got chased by Turkey, my girlfriend and I. We went walking one Saturday. And as we were walking, we saw two young people running in the woods. We were like, what are you guys running from? And they were like, a wild turkey was chasing them. And all I heard was, I said, oh no. So, my friend and I, we ran out of there. We ran out of there. Don't get chased by no wild turkey, y'all. Ha 
hope you guys have a fantabulous day. I hope you enjoy this beautiful exploration with me. I'm going to try to get a view from the actual middle. So this is the middle of the bridge, right here. And then of course, right here is where you're going to be able to see. Do you guys see how beautiful that is? video that I did out here in the cold <laughs> at the wonderful and awesome Pretty Boy Dam. It is absolutely beautiful. And at least doing 110 steps, I got my workout today. It wasn't much, but it was something. I'm still here enjoying this beautiful place. So, thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, why aren't you? This is Tony, and I am out.